Okay, so here I'm going to investigate three major types of growing media. As uh, so often I get asked, well, you know, which one's the best? And there's no direct answer to which one's the best, but there's a lot of people that use kind of three main types, or you may have your own. But kind of the three main staples that I see very commonly uh, used are one is ProMix. And this can be considered a standard mix uh, for many growers. And certain grow shops will have uh, bales of this all stacked on one another. Uh, it's a versatile mix that serves uh, not only as a good standalone product, but it can provide a quality base to tweak for individual needs. It does, it does have uh, peat moss as its higher percentage, which is typically uh, 65 to 75% of the total product here. We can see here this is ProMix BX with mycorrhizae and it's a general purpose. Uh, they make a lot of different um, sub recipes there, uh, but this is kind of one of the standards uh, just to consider as a, even a base material. It's also MetroMix or SunGrow. Uh, there's many different blends for this. Some consider it to be confusing because of all the options, so it's important if you do find one that you like to get the tag and to know exactly what you get so that you're able to go through and repeat that. Uh, SunGrow Horticulture uh, Canada now owns many other brands, so this is something else that's happening in the marketplace where one brand is going through and buying up uh, other um, names that you might be familiar with. So, so for example, Farford, Sunshine Advanced, Black Gold, and Metromix are now all owned under SunGrow Horticulture Canada. The uh, last one here is Happy Frog. Growers like this company for not only the growing media substrate, but also the nutrient charge that is typically added. It uh, can also be pre-inoculated with beneficial soil microbes, as we can see listed here in Propagules per gram uh, for the mycorrhizae and um, the fungus. And then for bacteria, we see in CFU coliform units per gram listed here. This can make a ready-to-use product directly out of the bag, and this is why some growers uh, prefer this uh, to use as part of their grow. So those are just three examples there. Um, experiment, find something you like, and work with it. Is there a perfect growing mix? No. Uh, find one that you can work with and one that you can modify and maybe use as a base material. And they all have their own little quirks. And keep in mind, watch the labels to make sure that the manufacturer doesn't change what's inside the bag, even if they call it by the same name.